you feel me? Because he's one of the dopest of all times. Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to run through from Fat Joe and Tretch talking about Eminem to Joyna Lucas revealing a hit collaboration that was originally meant for Eminem. We also have an update on the last video I did and before we get to these topics, it's tradition at this point to hit the like button if you enjoy content like this and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So Tretch was recently on the Fat Joe show and Joe brought up Eminem, asking Tretch how he felt about Eminem referring to him as his favorite rapper. From the get-go, this was Tretch. Eminem, let's just go Eminem. That's Eminem. my light-skinned twin. And he went on to explain what that meant to him as a rapper. He <laughs> said you're his favorite rapper. What does that feel like when you got somebody so lyrical, a goat like Eminem saying you're his favorite rapper? I mean, it, it makes me feel like I did my job. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm anybody that I admire, all the fans and the millions of records and, and the tours worldwide and everything, a show like we did something. So when you hear it from that caliber, it just humbles you. You know what I mean? We kick it back and forth. Eminem for his birthday, my birthdays, we be kicking in it. And before we get to more on this, it's important to bear in mind what was making the rounds on Twitter a few days ago. I replaced some words for obvious reasons, so bear with me, it states. What's something that isn't prejudiced, but still feels prejudiced to you? Where some verified account indoors stating, saying Eminem is the GOAT rapper. Now this user got responses like this. I'm black and I think Eminem is the GOAT, but it's really subjective. Another user adds, y'all really be hating on M just cause of his shade. Come on, he works so hard over the decades to prove he's the best or at least one of the best. Every GOAT rapper has respect for M even Wayne. Is it that hard to even consider Eminem is GOAT status? But an exchange revealed the mindset of people that hold the opinion of the original user. The user drops a link to OGs talking about Eminem which gets this response, I don't care. So clearly, it's a skin shade thing, nothing more. And moving on, here's someone whose opinion actually matters on things like this, and he calls Eminem one of the dopest rappers ever. So it's like, it's a, it's a, a mutual respect. You feel me? Because he's one of the dopest of all times, hands mm. down. You, you feel what I'm saying? And it's, it's showing how how the culture is so great. It expands from, it, it brings everybody together. All races, hip hop brings everybody together. Different art forms of all. Whether it's dance, hip hop, graffiti, it's all types of man. It's just, it's, it's a lovely thing. So that's my bro, bro. I love it. And it, it's like me. Anytime anybody asks me about hip hop, I can't go without naming all those that came before me. Cause I'm a, I'm a product of all of them together. Moving on before we get to Joyner Lucas's fun fact about the big Eminem collaboration that was supposed to happen that never did. Here's some fun fact that links to the video I did yesterday after Westside announced that he's left Shady Records. And it's often common to see people talk about how Shady did nothing for Griselda, with some going as far as expecting Eminem to transfer his fan base to any Shady artist. But going on Google Trends and viewing Griselda Records' popularity on the platform shows that in fact, Griselda Records was at their most popular on this platform on two occasions. After the release of Bang where Conway featured Eminem and also on the release of the WWCD Griselda album that also featured Bang, an album in which Shady was involved. I'm simply stating the fact Google searches were packed on those two occasions. So viewing this and comparing Google searches before Shady and after Shady's involvement, Griselda Records Speak got a four times multiplier added after Shady's involvement, specifically when Eminem was in the picture. But remember, vocal Griselda fans requested that Eminem stay far away from Griselda but now blame Eminem for not promoting them constantly. He's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't, but this is something that we have come to expect recently. Moving on, Joyner Lucas recently made a revelation about his smash hit with Logic, stating that it was initially meant for Eminem on Facebook and he posted, Fun fact, Eminem was originally supposed to be on the track. I waited a month for his verse, but at the time he was finishing his album and couldn't give me a date. So after I made amends with Logic, he invited me over to his house and I played it for him. He went crazy and knocked it out on the spot. That record will be two times platinum next year, lol, crazy right? And a popular reply states, 
As much as I enjoy listening to Eminem, I can't imagine anyone else but Logic being on it. There should definitely be a remix of it with an M verse though, and another user expands. It could have been 5 times platinum if M jumped on it, but things happen for a reason. Song is fire either way with M and Logic. Remember to share your thoughts below in the comment section and see you on the next one.